Was this an Asian on Asian hate crime or is the internet just looking way too much into this? Yeah, let's run the clip. All right, Andrew, you guys saw it. This is an incident that took place in Elmhurst, Queens, over literally what seems like a super trivial parallel parking incident. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's so many discussions taking place on the internet, Andrew. There's a non-Asian discussion as well as an internal Asian discussion. So we're going to get into it, break down all the angles. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Uh, also, check out Smala Sauce. It is our very own chili oil shipping out right now. Uh, I guess, David... I guess this is surprising because this is an Asian guy and we we can only guess what type of Asian he is, but we know that the woman is Thai. Well, I'm assuming he's Korean. Pe most people think he's Korean. That, that's right? what the comment section said. That's the demographics of Elmhurst. It's uh, possible, yeah. I believe the lady for sure is Thai, but she could be what, like Chinese Thai? Right. So she's speaking Thai and then basically he tells her to go back to China, calls her a dumb, you know, B, and tells her to go back to China twice. So it's like... This phrase, go back to China, is only something that you usually hear from non-Asians saying it to what they think is a Chinese person. Now we have an Asian American who is cursing at a Asian immigrant who is actually Thai Chinese, but basically being treated as Chinese. Right, right, right. So basically the internet was confused. Some people were saying this happens in my community as well amongst like African versus black, black versus African, assimilated Latinos that are second, third, fourth gen mm. versus first gen. And other people were just confused. Obviously within the Asian community, people, there was some discussion of like, oh man, Koreans always talk trash about Chinese. Mm. Or somebody was saying, but why do, is this seem like Chinese are less assimilated or maybe right. don't yeah. follow the rules as good as... For example, Koreans. Sure. So there was a bunch of discussions. Um, we don't know the details. I'm not trying to dox this guy, but obviously this was very poor form on his part. Regardless of what happened during that incident, Andrew, this guy is looking bad right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, this lady's trying to park. Maybe she stops a little suddenly. Maybe she backs up a little bit too quickly. She's clearly just trying to park. This happens all the time in this area. Parking is yeah, very hard to find in New York City. And... This guy's totally overreacting. Like, to me, my overall take is this guy is wrong for this, obviously. Uh, he obviously has some, like, anti-Chinese feelings in his heart, even though he's probably of a different Asian, possibly Korean. He's probably not from Elmhurst, realistically, because yeah. if you grew up there, you know what it is. And Elmhurst is half Latin, half Asian. There's a lot of immigrants there. There's probably a lot of driving that doesn't fit your uh, New Jersey sensibilities yeah from the suburbs. No, I mean, he has frustrations in his own life and he's totally projecting his anti-Chinese feelings onto this lady, uh, right. which he thought was like from China. But basically, it's he's wrong. A I lot mean, of people, Andrew, were, were surprised that he came out of the car and confronted her because men typically do not confront women, let alone elderly women. Right. And he has a Christmas sweater, Crocs, and like a kayak hitch on the top of his RAV4, which just... Super doesn't fit the profile. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, he's he's got a temper and uh obviously this lady, you know, got honked at, he swore at her, she flipped him off, then he stops and gets out of his car. Getting out of your car is pretty aggressive. That's an aggressive move, man. Especially in New York City, depending yeah. if he was in the Bronx, Andrew, he would not do that. Yeah, no, no, no. He, no, he would stay not. in his car and be, not even turn his head. I mean, um, yeah, I want to preface this, all the discussions, by saying that, like, this does happen within immigrant communities. Sure. Sometimes the more assimilated ones uh, that have been here for, Andrew, one, two, three generations, they judge the people who just came over, right? right. Due to, what, behavioral difference or some sort of perceived behavioral yeah, difference? Yeah. It's almost like, even if the same thing happened with an American 
you perceive it differently. You perceive it because they're immigrant. It's because they don't know what to, how to live, right? Yeah, it's almost like, you know, you'd think that all Asians, just because you're ethnically Asian or you seem East Asian or whatever, you're all, all on the same page. But it's actually more about, are you on the same page about assimilation? Because it doesn't really matter your race as much if my neighbor is Latino or my neighbor is an African immigrant and I'm Chinese American, but we're on the same page about assimilating together to be, to right. live this American dream, then we're actually going to be more on the same page than this guy and this woman. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what one thing that I think people need to realize is that nowadays with as many Asian and different races of people, it's not so much of just your bloodline. And just but that, that, that's part of it. That, that's a large part of it. And sure, maybe this Thai lady and this uh, alleged Korean guy might team up if it was like, if she was getting beat up by like, you know, a non-Asian or something, then he might jump in. But when it, there's interactions amongst each other, it now comes down to more like, oh, you're not assimilating like me. You're an immigrant like me. You need to go back to China because you're not doing a good job of being an American. Right. I mean, I we we don't know. We don't know the details. We I don't think even know who this guy. It seems like he's saying, this is my guess. He's probably from suburban New Jersey. He's not used to driving in Queens. He's going to a holiday Christmas party. That's what it looks like. And he's not like, he doesn't understand. In the city, the move that she pulled, it's not really that crazy. Like she turned on her blinkers a little late, but that's almost like how people drive yeah, in the city because the parking just pops up on yeah, you. Yeah, it's just stressful to drive in compact areas. Yeah, so I actually don't think that her driving was like super crazy. It wasn't certainly like swerving through the streets of Bangkok or anything mm. like that, but it's like he had a crazy overreaction. Like you said, he, he might be having a bad day and mentally he might've been on the fritz. Anyway, Andrew, let's just get into the comments section. Somebody said, Asians are probably the most racist against themselves. He was probably Korean or Japanese. They hate the Chinese. But why do they hate the Chinese? Let's, we can all, I know we all joke about Koreans not liking Chinese or Japanese looking down on Chinese, whatever. Like, obviously, it's rooted in some history and some reason. But I guess, well, it, why even is it? It's funny because historically, both sides go against the Japanese. But in modern day, both sides right. are going against the Chinese. During the war, it was against the Japanese. Everybody hates the Japanese. But now, a day's, like I'm saying, it's more really not so much about oh korean chinese you have to dig it a level deeper it's almost like you chinese are not doing a good no, job no, of assimilating i, I, I feel like and That's i'm what not speaking saying. for everybody uh, and a lot of koreans have told me this because we have a lot of very lucid conversations that a lot of people don't have they feel like koreans had a better assimilation plan to american norms becoming a christian mm -hmm. country etc than chinese do right and i would say generally there, there's something to that, but that doesn't mean that you can go talk down on them like you're now a racist white nah. guy and they're the not nah, knowing how not, to live fob. Like nothing justifies what he says. Yes. That, that was um, somebody said, man, this guy definitely got a small penis vibe. Man, he stepped to a chick for all that. What did she really do? And someone said, is it okay for an ABC to tell an Asian fob to go back to the motherland? Let, let's just even assume he was Chinese, Andrew. Okay. Let's just assume. Let's he just was, play it out. He's Chinese. Or dias, he, he's diasporic <laughs> Chinese. Realistically, a Chinese is not going to say that to a Chinese, but he's like of Chinese descent from a different country. Okay. And he's assuming that she's mainland. Okay. It doesn't change it. It's still, no, that's wrong. It's just weird. It's still wrong. <laughs> it's wrong, but, but, and this is not to justify anybody, but like I said, it's really about being on the same page about assimilation. This is like. Right. This is it because, like, listen, I've played a lot of basketball with fobs, and I have friends that are fobs. I've dated fobs. Like, it's them being fob in itself is not an issue to me at all. In fact, I appreciate it because they can tell me things about being Chinese that I don't know. Right, you don't have in your knowledge they base. They can translate things. They can talk to me about things, talk to me about life in China. It's very insightful. So I, I love having those friends, but I cannot deny that there have been frustrations that I've had because there's – a cultural difference because right. we're not on the same page about assimilation. They're not trying. Sometimes, you know, you meet a fob, they're not trying to be American. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to be American, but I'm also trying to be the good parts of Chinese. But like, we got to be on the same page here that we're trying to act and at least understand yeah. the American rules. For sure. And I want to be clear here. I think it could be a class thing too, because I dated a girl from Chengdu and she was from a like, a little bit more of, a, I guess, an upper middle class family. Uh -huh. She used to judge all the newly arrived 
immigrants from a different class in China. Right. And she used to say <laughs> stuff like, yeah, I wish they would go back to China. But like, she wouldn't say it like the way this guy said it, but I, I just want to say that there is some context for not, I'm not completely no, like there's some class, blaming there's just some race. Su- it's, it's class and race and socioeconomic status and blah, 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 blah. And, and like you said, I, I guess, I guess it's tribalism. I guess it's tribalism. Yeah. 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 Um, Andrew, the next bunch of comments came from a bunch of non-Asians that were like, wait, but he's never mind. I was not expecting him to look like this. Yeah. Basically, this is a bunch of non-Asians that were just like, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, yeah, I think the more interesting comments from the non-Asians are mm-hmm. saying uh, there's people who are like, oh, Dominicans are black, but they say racist stuff to black people. Or you see this within our black population. You see this happen between Cubans and Mexicans. How a lot of people think Cubans and Mexicans are similar, but a lot of Cubans will look down on Mexicans. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying there's that stereotype. That's a stereotype within the Latino community yeah. that there are inter-Asian hierarchies. Correct? Yeah, there are hierarchies within larger tribes. Yes, that is true. Of right, course. and there's even, I guess, um, like a white Latino to indigenous Latino hierarchy as well, right? Sure. Like that, that's the reality sure, of sure, it, right? Sure. And then this guy said, y'all laughing like most prejudice doesn't ultimately come from within our own race. And this girl said, I'm from the Caribbean, but people think I'm from Mexico. So I've had Caribbean folks that I got into arguing with me tell me to go back to Mexico, but I'm actually even from the Caribbean myself, but I could just pass as a Mexican. That's interesting. How much is it that somebody's just busting that out just as a as kind of a ghetto <laughs> New York diss the second they just think of where you're from? Like, you're not acting right. You don't know how to behave. So go back to blah, 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 where I believe you're from. Or is that, that you can't write it off like that? It's interesting. It's interesting. Man, I don't know. It's so complex because I guess, like, if you meet somebody who's clearly from, like, the South in New York, like, let's say they're from Louisiana or they're from Texas, and they do something that you're just uh, like, let, hey, let, let's go back to uh, Texas, bro. You whack. Uh, you're saying the people from Louisiana or Texas taking up the entire sidewalk five, because I've seen it. I've yeah. seen Europeans and people from outside yeah. the suburbs. They'd be taking up six people uh, shoulder to shoulder taking up the whole sidewalk. Do you, but... So do you think, like, let's say, for example, a New York Italian guy's like, hey, go back to the South, huh? What are you doing, huh? Where, where maybe that's where you, you, know, you guys could know how to behave because that type of behavior is not acceptable here. I think any group can do this to the another group once they feel some type of cultural superiority. Some sort or of whatever or, reason. Or moral leverage. Yeah, or moral su- leverage, moral superiority, cultural superiority, social superiority. Whatever it is, you're going to use... Whatever dish you can find against that person. Right, right, right. Somebody, some sort of uh, tribalistic superiority. Somebody said, the moment an immigrant gets their citizenship, how come all other immigrants can deserve to go back to their respective countries? This phenomenon has been witnessed time and time again as far as back as the Irish and the Italians in New York City. Is there a term for this? And someone said, yeah, it's like the Hispanics in Queens right now telling the migrants to go back. Well, that are more, and you're, you're seeing this all across America yeah, right now, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah, it's like yeah. the ones that do get along, the ones that came legally, the ones that got amnesty, the one, you know how like there's so many different pathways and then that you maybe feel like your pathway makes you more valid than another pathway because of the situations that surround that and the outcomes or probabilities or whatever. I, what, I, what I think really to me that's really interesting about this is because go back to your country is usually something that is said from a different race to another race but now that it's the same looking type of people even though they're not the same group of people actually but to the but outside people were just no, like yo they that's... visually look the same so Someone now said, ling ling telling ming ming to go back to asia is crazy that's so funny it won't be <laughs> ming ming telling ling ling yeah. because ming ming would be i'm assuming it would be the male name uh i i, I think that like uh uh i don't know does this like do you think some non-asians that see this are like gonna justify when they say that, like, they're like, yeah, see, Asians even say that to each other. So I'm going to say uh, it to So Asians. they're saying, oh, so it wasn't really just a racial thing. I'm like, it wasn't right. me being racist. I was just sounding racial when I was criticizing their behavior. But, but actually, even Asians can be racist to other Asians. So I don't know, man. It's so and it hard. Can be inter- inter- not just racist. 
immigration wavist or yeah. assimilationist as well. Assimilationist, identitarianist. They are are assimilationists, and a lot of people are that nowadays. Uh, somebody said, "Man, I just noticed in general Chinese on Chinese crime is on the rise." By the way, I think this person is using Chinese as a word for Asian. So a lot of people don't know, especially more uneducated people. Andrew, they just use the word Chinese for all Asians. I, I guess, David. Overall, what can we learn from this, or is there is it just being like, "Yo, this dude's tripping. He's wrong. Like he should shut up. He, he's he, he's wrong for that. We should." But but are Asians gonna go out on a limb and try to track him down and harass him on the internet? Uh, I'm sure he's had this video sent to him several times because he looks like a guy who probably got a TikTok, a snap, and everything. You know, because mm. he looks like Gen Z. I mean, um, think he's feeling some shame right now. I think so. It's pretty embarrassing. It's a <laughs> it's a shameful video because the girls like. She doesn't deserve it. I'm not saying that, you know, she's a 10 out of 10 driver or whatever, but, like, you just can't treat other people in the society this way, to be honest. Yeah. In a civil society. I'm not saying people don't. Asians should know better. We come from a place where it's generally not acceptable to act like that. I'm not saying it never happens in Asia. It happens at a lower rate. Um, it's unfortunate, and I hope he can learn from but it. I hope his life is not over. To, to me, it's not as puzzling as it is sad. Like, puzzling, I get it. Like, this person's not Chinese. He's frustrated with the way he perceives mainland Chinese people to be acting. Right, less assimilated than he, his he, tribe or whatever. He right? identifies as more Americanized. This lady is not being American, apparently, by the way she drives. He's frustrated. He's projecting a lot on her. So, to me, that's not as puzzling. He overreacted. He's wrong. But to me, it's sad because I'm like, dang, man, Asians lashing out on other types of Asians. Well, now I can expect non-Asians to lash out on Asians just as much or if not more. So, right, right, right. I, I mean, it's, it's almost like too much enemy fire to take a friendly. Yeah. That's a Jay-Z line. Yeah. Where he was just like, damn, bro. But no, it happens, it man. Fire. But, but, but of course, when you live in a world that's so Asian, which Elmhurst is very Asian, do I think that this is going to happen in like uh, but, but, Oklahoma? But do, you know, the interesting thing is I've heard this always used to happen in the 90s when all the Asian immigrants were newly arrived and now it's happening again, but sort of in a different way. I mean, but, but listen, like, it's, I've heard stories of a Chinese American saying this to a Chinese fob. Yes. I've heard it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So it's not out of this world because at the end of the day, it's just to say you're not on the same page. And if you don't want to be on the same page, then go back to your homeland. Uh, in, but in a more, like, malicious way, that's essentially what they're saying. Do you think it is true that different... Yeah, I mean, I, I'll say this. I do think that different groups assimilate at different rates. Uh, some assimilate, have a game plan to, to have heavy assimilation. Some are medium. Some are at a light assimilation game plan. I, I think that that's fair to say that different groups have different patterns of behaviors in a macro aggregate, like, median statistical sense. And, um, yeah, I just hope we can deal with it better. Mm. That's my general feeling. Like I said, I, I wish the best for everybody in every community. But, yeah, these things pop up, you know. But, like I said, not trying to, you know. No, I don't think anybody deserves to, like, have their, have, you know. It's just let it be a learning lesson. All right, everybody. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Hit that like button. Uh, let us know if you enjoyed the, the conversation and found it insightful. And, and I'll tell you this, Andrew. One last thing I learned from this post. Knowing the difference between a Chinese person and all Asians altogether, Andrew, that's still not required knowledge to operate in the U.S. Mm, nope. You don't need to know. Nope, nope, nope. All right, everybody. Until next time, we out. Peace.